Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain why it's the case that the marginal cost curve intersects our average cost curves, both our average variable cost and our average total cost curves at their minimum. I'm going to use our regular U-shaped cost curves. I have one shaped here like a Nike tick, that's our marginal cost curve. And our average total cost curve lies above our average variable cost curve. Both of these curves look like bowls. And you'll see that I've been careful to draw each of the curves such that the marginal cost curve has hit the average cost curve right at the, its lowest point, at their minimum. The most common way to try and explain this relationship to students is to at least initially not think about costs at all, but to simply ask the students to consider the relationship between their average grade at school and their marginal grade for each additional subject that they take. And then we can generalize this relationship back to marginal and average costs. So let's do that. And let's say that so far you've taken two different subjects and your grades for the subjects were 90 and 88 respectively. Well, then the average of these will just be the sum of both divided by two. So 90 plus 88 divided by two, which is 89. And then let's say that your marginal, your next grade was lower than this average. Let's say that your marginal course is economics and you got an 80. The question is, what is going to happen to your average after you get your grade? Well, our average now is 90 plus 88 plus 80 divided by three, and that's equal to 86. Our average has now decreased. And this is actually a result that can be generalized. If you get your marginal result that is lower than your average, then your average will decrease. Now, bringing it back to our cost curves, this is exactly what happens with our marginal and average cost curves. So let's just consider the average total cost. Now let's evaluate from any one of the points on our quantity axes where our average total cost curve is decreasing. And you'll notice, you'll see that at that point, the marginal cost curve is below the average total cost curve at that point. This generalizes for all of the quantities in which our average total cost is decreasing. So our average is decreasing when our marginal is below our average. But the opposite is also true. Going back to our example of our average grades and marginal grades, let's imagine that our marginal grade was higher than our initial average, which if you remember was 89. So let's say our marginal, our next grade was 92, higher than that initial average. Well, our new average is now 90 plus 88 plus 92, all divided by three, which is equal to 90, which is higher than our previous average. So when the marginal grade was higher than the average, our average is going to increase. This can be generalized back to our costs. When our marginal cost is higher than our average, our average will increase. So looking back to our diagram, we can see for any quantity where our average is increasing, you can see that our marginal is above our average. The marginal is pulling the average up. Now let's then join these two relationships together. If the marginal is below our average, our average is decreasing. If our marginal is above our average, our average is increasing. And let's also understand that for the most part, our marginal cost curve is increasing. Well, then initially our marginal cost curve will be below the average, and so the average will be decreasing. But since our marginal cost curve is increasing, at some point it will become higher than the average. And at this point, our average will stop decreasing and start to increase. The point of intersection between the curves then will be at exactly the turning point where the average curve is right at its minimum. So I hope that you can see that. And that's it. That's the reason. Remember, this is a relationship that is driven by the relationship between average and marginal. And so this also applies to our average variable cost curves as well. So great, that's it. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and comment below. I hope it did help you. Let me know how you're going with economics. If you would like me to make a video on anything in particular, I can at least try. Most of all, I hope that you're having a great time studying and I'll keep it up.